All right, Gusty. Let's see what, what else we can do. Let's do the battle out of Buck Raver. See, we'll have to talk to Johnny, see what that is. And then, um, yeah, we'll do a, a couple of side missions for the main story. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a uh, Mantis Blades. I don't know. I've been wanting the Mantis Blades for a while, so I think I'm gonna get them since I have the money. Increase tech abilities. Judy. What's up, girl? Uh, I thought you might want to know. Columbarium near North Hook. Buried Eve. Thanks for letting me know. Take care. Ah, looking for a new implant. Been thinking about getting some new chrome. Then I think you'll come to the right place. Alright. Alright. We're building a techie, so might as well. Edge run. Ooh, that's gonna open it up. The edge run perk in the tech ability perk tree allows you to exceed your cyberware capacity. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. We're about to get that too, so like we can get it at the set in the next one. This one right here, edge runner. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll definitely get that one. Um, once I get that point. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's do the ballad. The ballad of bug Ravers. See what the heck that is. Look out. Move. Mitch Anderson. What's going on? We're holding a funeral for Scorpion and others. I thought maybe you'd want to come along. Say goodbye. Fire a rifle in the air to honor the fallen. So on. Of course. I'll be there. Okay, it's downstairs. Let's move it. Chick Chick Street over there. What's going on? Weak. Really hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell that's sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chubba. Ain't half bad. Guy's hurt. Got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got <laughs> your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Hmm. Losers tend to stay to say that. Success gives you a platform. Sure. The world, you know. <laughs> oh, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corps. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your huh. ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. What's this could be worth something? So yeah, sure. I'm saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost of course, cry. man. Almost. What do you think you live, you America? Suck. You think those tapes still exist? After all these years. Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Okay. Rainbow C Cadenza. Um, Johnny. Pretty sure they turned your great what the spot fuck? into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. You ready? Okay, what's going on here? What uh, happened hey, to Rainbow um, Cadenza? Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, <laughs> asks where is his old rainbow club. 
And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should mm. sign. Makes sense. Looking for some samurai tips. Legs from Rainbow Cadenza days. Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes, wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Okay, the market. What's he sell? Canic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green, thanks. Okay. Hey. That's fine. Find the vendors selling the tapes, okay? Seems like a little fetch quest. Last drop in hey, there. Looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Last laser pop. <laughs> Don't sell no <laughs> stuff here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. <laughs> Fucking laser pop. Laser. Here at my stand. I heard I can get some, some tunes. decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian do list, Urdine stuff, Tainted Uridine. Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Silverhand's See, biggest I found fan, huh? Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! <laughs> Guy shook the foundations of the <laughs> corporate asshole. world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real right, deal. Looking for some relics. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. You know what Johnny's last words to Carrie were? Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. <laughs> I remember the gigs at Rainbow to, uh, Cadenza. Come here. Back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg oh, fucking liar. Sure make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first <laughs> samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd samurai's third ever gig end? Hmm. <laughs> Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Fucking hell. Come on, man. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chip. 
You always freeze up like this? What the fuck are you talking about? Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks mm -hmm. trying to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Huh? Poor Hang Denny. On. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, oh, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe <laughs> we're there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. <laughs> what? Can I take everything? No, I can't. Ooh. Right, what is this? Samurai concert recording. Samurai sturdy stitched cargo pants. Let's go. All right. Much Thank you. It. Take it. Talk to the vendor. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpos. Heck yeah. Cool. Let's talk to Johnny. You know they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. Hm. But look at that guy. Sixty at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. <sighs> Something must have changed. Sixty years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different package. Well, something's changed. Yep. Maybe we can't see it, but it's change all the same. Sure. Yeah. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Mm. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's do this one. Send in the clowns. See what's going on there. It's really close. That's why. That's why I want to do it. Get it. Come on. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Judy. Shitty, but something came to me. What's wrong? Gotta give some morning. time to grieve, Judy. Experience all the <laughs> There's stages. like two hey, conversations going yes. on. Whoa, fuck! You didn't answer my question. I'd say I'm on anger. Gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> what so came to you? Up with? The Mox dive. Lizzie's bar used to be Joy House. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tiger claws killed one girl too happen. many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand the, to the same Hold makeover. Over. All right, Street Kid. Uh, take over Lizzie's bar wasn't exactly smooth. I'm familiar though. with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Okay. Sure. You've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through yeah, at all. Yeah, come on, man. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and toned asses doing nothing. All right. Got the mocks. You want to take over clouds? Take over clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at clouds will take our side. Will you help? <sighs> sure. Bye. Yeah. Of Got course. me on board. Anything for you? Oh, yes. Okay. So, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. 
Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Evelyn, okay. Maiko, you seem to know your way around clouds. I used to work there. Helped him out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Hmm. Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. <laughs> How well you know, do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we okay. doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Mm hmm. All right. Ozo. O's up. Uh, there's something on your face. There's a. Uh, <laughs> something on your face. The grenade. Can I ask why? You have a juggling accident or something? Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Hmm. All right. Doesn't it bother you? <laughs> what? The grenade. You know. <laughs> the face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. <laughs> Going to Little China. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know. Down in South, I know where Brazil is. You never know with you gringos. <laughs> okay. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No. Why? Just asking. Can't help me. Oh curious. shit. This okay. is the place. Whoa. Wait for me here and keep the engine running came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. All right, come on. Get shit done. Okay, let's see what he's up to. Oh. Hostile area. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? No. Uh, a good time to dig around, V. They're not even human. Oh, fuck. Want to taste of this asshole? <laughs> Public enemies. Let's get out of here. Defeat all enemies. Oh. And I tell okay. you, no. The Arasakas. You still here, man? They're not even not bad, human. right? It would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. Is it this test? is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit. Okay? What about my payment? What about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. Mm. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. They're not even human. Vampires, the lot. What was the purpose of that? Their bodies, they never What's ate, going on here, man? But notice their eyes, cold and dead. Their corporation what do you need? exists only as cover for their wicked means to live. Or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, so 
the burrow is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed Some in the family room. crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. That's nah, right. that. So Saburo is definitely dead. Like, trust me on this. Such conviction. You witnessed his death with your own eyes. Yes. Well, it just so happens I. Uh, no, I did not. Ah, you see, you see. <laughs> but how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations? You ask. With the help of techno necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform <laughs> himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill blood. Arasaka secrets. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been <laughs> sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. Hmm. Killing in the name. Investigate the site from the Barmas Collective. Yeah, we'll try that one. The Barmas Collective. Fuck. What's that supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, this was my apartment. Or this? What is that? The fool. Hey, do you have a moment? Pan Am. Need to talk? I mean, what do you need? A moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. You're calling me? Where's the family? You're calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that These means girls, you're not man. willing to come, am I right? No, no, no. I... Well, uh... sure, on yes, my on my way. <laughs> Thanks. That's good to hear. I'm too available. Give me a little more info. What's your grief? What well, happened? It uh, would be better. Let to... me guess. Saul, right? You know hmm. me well. Uh huh. See you soon. Okay, since we're here now, let me just um change my outfit really quick. Yeah, we'll just do we'll just do it like that. Equip. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go. The Barmas Collective. Any info on Swedenborg? I'll pay for any info about Swedenborg Riviera's true identity. Call Bess Isis about Swedenborg. My name is Bez Isis and I'm an independent journalist. I ended up here after the recent incident in at Helvetia. You might have heard about. Um, who exactly is the man that inspired the attacker, the man that you all practically worship? Have you ever wondered who Swedenborg Riviera actually is? I know I have. So here's the deal. I'm willing to pay for any info that might help unravel this mystery. Don't hesitate to get in touch. Bez Isis. Nice try. You think we'd betray our leader to a corpus lud like you? <laughs> okay, hold up. Let's get out. Let's call her. See what's going on. Best Isis. Hey, you've reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye. Nance. Okay. Complete other jobs. Okay, let's go to Pan Am again. Obviously, I'm a freaking idiot for following up with Pan Am. Since she rejected us. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're still friends. We're cool. She, I got her back. It's fine. We're still cool with Pan Am. She rejected the fuck out of us. V, you're here. I'm here. What is he doing here? What's up, guys? I forbade you from even breathing on that military convoy. For so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly fuck is wrong why. With this? Really think you could the fuck are you talking about? Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like Fucking this. Asshole. A chance at what? Rotting up the job. since this fight's grown stale. Come on. Put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock <coughs> anything else up before then. I can't believe okay. it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the Fuck grass ass. green. <laughs> Being unusually, unusually quiet. quiet. What's up? 
Why'd you turning up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, given up? Of course not. We'll take the basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos hmm. keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk, basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. <laughs> oh, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply He's a narcissistic. coward. narcissistic. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk is it worth, it? worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, <laughs> Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember when you told me to give you a good kick in the pants, Basilisk? What's Saul's problem with me? Thought you and Saul were getting. Okay, let's Remember start a while with the first back. one. You told me to give you a solid kick the in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. So he doesn't want to be a you nomad guys rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. <laughs> Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> Logistics. Then you and Saul were getting along. Well, you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab okay. the basilisk cow? What's up? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. <laughs> okay, let's the go fuck? talk to the rest. <laughs> She's tired of talking. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause it's fun. <laughs>